When words are sweet, better spit them out. Good morning! Welcome to I Rise Life Sensible Comments. In the previous episode, teacher Rizzi shared with us the very purpose of our ears, and that is to listen to the words of God for us to become a better person. Today, let us reflect on the topic on how to guard our mouth and use it in such ways that we glorify our God. Our speaker believes that using God's mouth can bring honor or disgrace to the Lord. Friends, I am referring to Teacher Sheila. Thank you, Mom Karen. Oftentimes, we say whatever it is in our mind. Right away, without processing what we thought, our mouth utters words caused by heightened emotion or negative situation. In this sense, it is no excuse to allow ourselves be overpowered by our emotions. Instead, having self-control and control over our mouth is a requirement. I'm sure all of us can remember something somebody said to you that cut deep. Maybe it was something a close friend of yours that said to you and their words hurt you. Maybe it was something a family member that you love and trusted said to you and their words hurt you. Words can hurt. We need to learn to guard our mouth. The Bible says in Proverbs 33, Those who guard their lips preserve their lives, but those who speak rashly will come to ruin. Our words can have a big impact in our life. They can cut and destroy. They can build up and encourage. Our mouths can even destroy us depending on what we say. Learn self-control. Learn to control your mouth. Realize that your words have impact. If you cannot control your mouth, then you have no self-control. We should be mindful of the things or the words we say. Before you say anything, ask yourself three questions. Is it true? Is it kind? And lastly, is it necessary? Even if it's true, it may not be necessary. You don't need to just let everything come out of your mouth. Because once the words leave your mouth, you can never take them back in. They are out there forever. That's why the Bible tells us to think before we speak and react. The person who guards his mouth keeps his life. But he who opens his lips wide goes to destruction. Be somebody who has self-control. Be somebody who watches his mouth before letting words come out. We are all blessed and to God be all the glory. Avoid uttering negative words. I pause, take a deep breath, and think before I speak. Kasi nga once na nasabi mo na ang mga so let's be careful in using our mouth. Yes, I agree with Teacher Karen. Uh, ako naman, siguro ang gagawin ko yung iisipin ko na lang yung mga magagandang bagay na nagawa sa akin ng taong iyon o kaya naman yung mga magagandang bagay na nagawa ko sa kanya upang hindi ako makapag-isip at makapagbitaw ng mga hindi magagandang salita laban sa kanya. Let's now have the prayer of salvation. Ma'am Mildred will lead us. Because all bow our heads and uh, pray. Amang Diyos, maraming salamat po sa pagkakataong ito. Ako po ngayon ay lumalapit at nagpapakumbaba sa inyong harapan. Patawarin po ninyo ako sa lahat ng aking mga nagawang kasalanan sa isip, sa salita, at sa gawa. Sa oras po ito, tinatanggap kita bilang aking Panginoon at sarili na kapagdiktas ng aking buwan. Puspusin po ninyo ako ng inyong Santong Espiritu at Kabanalan. Kayo na nga po ang siyang masunod sa lahat ng aking mga gagawin at sa lahat ng aking mga plano. Isulat po ninyo ang aking pangalan. Sige po, bangitin natin ang ating mga pangalan. Mildred Kisos po sa Aklat ng Buhay. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. 
And for the declaration, here is Sir Grace. All together, let us declare that by the power of the blood of Jesus, we are all COVID-19 free. Coronavirus is our defeated foe. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And we would enjoy each day of our lives knowing that we have nothing. In Jesus' name, Amen. That ends our fourth episode. Muli po, nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng gagnay, nag-share, and nag-subscribe. See you next week. This is Our Vibes Live Sensible Commons. Thank you.